a random variable is a measurable function x from h to r. So, here one example it is given for a random experiment of tossing a coin uh, the sample space is s is equal to head and tail. So, we may define the random variable as x of head is equal to 1 and x of tail is equal to 0. So, then uh, this this we have shown that it is a measurable function and it is a random variable. So, there are many uh, example you can so we can show that this is not a uh, something. So, something not a random variable for example, uh, if you consider instead of uh, this collection if you consider uh, suppose sample space is uh, head and tail or uh, let us consider another random variable let us another uh, another random experiment let us consider. Suppose uh, rolling a die. So, then our sample space A2, H2, suppose H2 we are denoting by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So, let us consider uh, only this. Suppose C2 is nothing but, okay, C2 we have already denoted. So, let us consider uh, F2 f 2 is nothing but just phi and h 2. So, this is a sigma field because uh, if you consider uh, if you take the union and complements all will be inside this set. Now, we want to define a random variable suppose x 2 is a another random variable h 2 to r. So, then we want to define this random variable so, because it is H2, so X2 of S is equal to uh, 1 if uh, S belongs to it is a even number 2, 4, 6, and this is, is equal to uh, 0 if S belongs to 1, 3, 5. Okay. Now, suppose we want to uh, get the uh, Okay. Now, I think, uh, yeah. Now, if it is a uh, borel, it is a measurable function, then we have to consider suppose what is the uh, suppose b is one borel set uh, minus infinity to suppose one, one borel set we consider. So, then what is x2 inverse of uh, b? So, x2 inverse of b is nothing but, so x2 inverse of b how we will compute? So, so, uh, all the element in uh, this H2 satisfying this relationship x2 of S is less than equal to 1 and this is greater than minus infinity. So, what are those values that it is uh, satisfying this? Because uh, this is okay, I have taken x2, okay, uh, yeah. So, then this is uh, this is satisfying by all the element. So, it is it is uh, all the element because uh, we 1 or 0. So, that is why no problem it is satisfying the by the all the element. So, that is why this set will be all uh, the H 2 all H 2 and H 2 is belongs to F 2 no problem. Now, if you consider this set this is 0 B is nothing but minus 20 to 0. So, then uh, then this will be nothing but uh, all S satisfying X 2 S is less than equal to 0 greater than minus infinity. So, the whole, what are those elements satisfying this relation because x 2 is, is equal to 0 whenever it is this those values. So, this is nothing but 1, 3 and 5 whether 1, 3, 5 in f 2 it does not it is not f 2 because f 2 contain only phi and h 2 and it is the sigma field we are considering. So, it does not belongs to f 2. So, so x 2 is not a measurable function. Hence, hence x 2 is not a random variable. So, x 2 is not a random variable. So, uh, now uh, basically now I, I hope you have now understood that the uh, concept of random variable that it has to be a measurable function 
from the sample space S to uh, sample space S to through the Borel sigma field R. So, that bor it has to be Borel measurable. Now, we say Borel measurable because we are considering the R and the Borel, Borel sigma field and we are considering uh, this, um, uh, this measurable function with respect to the Borel sigma field. Now, uh, there are some of the other numerical example let us discuss. So, I hope you have understood that events defined by the random variable. So, it is nothing but what is uh, defined by this is this thing x is equal to x. So, I just uh, take this notation uh, s such that x of s is equal to x and uh, what is kind of notation this notation. So, all kind of things we can uh, have. So, suppose let us denote another. So, for this example. So, it is not a, so now uh, this example you can see that x less than equal to 1. Also, we can define uh, this function also here x, x 1 is less than x less than equal to x 2. So, let us do one numerical example. So, another numerical. So, here one numerical examples are given. So, in the experiment of tossing a fair coin 3 times. The sample space S1 consists of 8 equally likely sample points uh, S1 is equal to like this. So, basically a fair coin means whenever we say a coin is fair or we say sometimes that the coin is unbiased. So, that means uh, both head and tail are equally likely uh, head and tail and that means probability of head is half we will consider that. And uh, 3 times we are tossing a coin then if you toss the coin 3 times then what will be your output possible output. Suppose you are tossing once then it will be head and tail, uh, second time it may be again head and tail and third time it will be again a head and tail. So, your output one, once you are repeat uh, just one trial your output it will, will be looks like maybe head then head and head. So, that is why this sample space here S1 it is written. So, this notation we will consider. So, it may be uh, head, head, head or it may be first time hit, uh, second time also hit, third time again it is tail. It may be first time hit, second time tail, then third time hit, hit, tail, 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 hit, uh, hit, tail, uh, hit, tail, then uh, tail, hit, tail, tail, head, head, tail, head, tail. So, tail, head, head, then tail, tail tail. So, how many 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, head head head, head head tail, head tail head, head tail tail. So, tail head head, then tail head tail, then tail tail head also there. I, sorry. So, there will be some other observation. Tail head tail also there. Tail head tail, uh, one minute. Tail head tail already we have done written. Tail head tail 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 head is there and then tail tail tail. So, there will be 8 observations 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, there will be 8 sample points for this random experiment. So, now it is written here if x is the random variable giving the number of heads obtained. So, basically whenever this observation coming, so then what is the number of heads? So, number of heads is 3. So, if this is coming, so number of heads is 2. So, similarly, you can think that. So, if this observation we see, so number of head will be 0. So, then this random variable is defined, x is the random variable, it is defined as the number of head obtained. So, any point s belongs to s1, x of s is nothing but number of heads number of heads obtained, number of heads obtained. So, uh, now, uh, so how it is defined? So, basically this is the sample space S we denoted. So, how x headed head because it is, so for this case this x is will be 3. So, x of head 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 it will be number of head will be nothing but 3. Similarly, for this case, suppose x of head, head, tail. So, what will be the number of head? So, number of head will be 2. So, similarly, uh, you can see for this case also 2, 
for this case also 2 for this case number of head is 1 for this case number of head will be 2 it, this case number of head will be 1 this case number of head will be 1 and this case just I am writing x of tail 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 this is nothing but 0. Now this is the random variable it is defined. So it, it can be easily shown that you can see that it is a measurable function it will be a measurable function you can check it and uh, be, uh, we have already uh, discussed the what is measurable function how to check all these things. Now uh, by measurable function we can have the we can define the event. So event means that it is a uh, what is event? Event means it is a uh, subset of the sample space that belongs to that sigma field. So that means x is a measurable function. So x inverse so because so just we want to mention again these things. So uh, x minor x inverse of any Borel set it is belongs to C. So it is belongs to C means it is a event. So it is a event means it is a subset of base that belongs to the sigma field. So this is phi belongs to C that is a so that is why uh, by this way we can define the uh, so x less than equal to 1 it is nothing but the subset of base that belongs to C. So it is a event. Event means nothing but it is a subset of base that belongs to the sigma field C. So it is also a event. Now whenever it is a event we defined the probability of a event. So we can talk about the probability of this set. So that is that means we can talk about probability of x equal to 1 probability of x less than equal to 1. So in general probability of x less than equal to x we can talk about. So that is the uh, because it is a event. So here it is asked that if x is the random variable giving the number of heads obtained find uh, this probability x equal to 2 x less than equal to less than 2. First we have to understand what is what does it mean x is equal to 2 and what is x less than 2 that we have to understand. So then we can uh, compute this. So uh, we know this notation we have already discussed again we will do. So what is x equal to 2 suppose we, we are doing here x is equal to 2 first bracket. So it is nothing but all s belongs to the sample space s1 this sample space s1 satisfying this relationship x of s is, is equal to 2. So now we have we know all the value. So what are the points satisfying x is, uh, x is equal to 2? So you can see that whenever it is the number of head actually is 2. So here you can see that HST is there, HST it is number of head 2. Then uh, HTH also there, HTH and also number of head 2 because it is equal to 2 exactly equal to 2 and also uh, th is also there th number of head 2 because all those points only excess equal to 2. So and anything else so anything else if you consider h h h this is nothing but 3 head that is why it will be uh, x of uh, headed head is equal to 3 so it will not satisfy this relationship. So, for any other case also head tail tail only one head t head tail this is also only one head t t head it is all t t t it is 0. So, that is why only 3 because it is a fair coin. So, all the 8 points will be equally likely. So, if it is not a fair coin then it may not be equally likely because if it is more likely head then this will be more probable than the more uh, all this more tail where it is more tail. So, that is why. Uh, it is a fair coin. So, uh, all the elements in S1 they these are equally likely. So, uh, then what will be the probability x, x is equal to 2? The probability that x is equal to 2 this is nothing but uh, because by classical approach uh, all are equally likely by the assumption the possible way it can come 8 total 8 possible way and the x equal to 2 it can come the possible way 3. So that is why it is nothing but 3 by 8. So this that is why this is actually it is explained here you can see that let a be a subset of s1 event by x equal to 2 and we can see that x equal to 2 is nothing but these things we have already computed. Since this sample point are equally likely we have x equal to 2 is nothing but 3 by 8. 
Now another set we want to take b is equal to x less than 2. Suppose b is equal to x less than 2. So, it is a subset of S actually, it is belongs to the uh, sigma algebra sorry yeah sigma field. So, uh, so that is why, so this belongs to uh, this is a this is this will be a subset of S 1 actually, this is subset of S 1. So, how we will define this? So, we know the definition of uh, x less than 2, how it can be defined? So, it is defined. So, this is nothing but similarly we have already done it x less than 2 means all x all s belongs to s 1 satisfying the relationship satisfying the relationship this random variable x of s x of s is less than 2. So, all s belongs to s 1 satisfying the relationship that x of s is less than 2. So, then what are the uh, point in s 1 which is satisfying this relationship? So, you can see that less than 2 means uh, see here equal to 2 means exactly 2 we have to see, but here less than 2 means uh, it may be 1 it may be because what are the points it can it is taking 0, 1, 2 and 3 and that is known as the range of the random variable. So, because random variable is a function, so random variable function s 1 to r. So, range of x range of x is mean nothing but the all the uh, range of this function. So, range of x which denoted by r x. So, all value it is taking. So, what is the value, what are the values it is taking? Because it is taking 0, 1, 2 and 3, this is the range of x. So, range of a function we know that. So, what are, what are those values it is taking? So, that is the range of this function, it is nothing but the range of this random variable. So, now because s s is we are, we want to find all s belongs to s 1 such that x of s is less than 2. So, that means, uh, what are the values it can do less than 2 because less than 2 may be 0 and 1 it can take. So, uh, what are the corresponding to 0? 0 is nothing but uh, t t t it is it is taking x of s is equal to 0 only one value it is taking 0 and 1 also we can consider uh, number of head is 1. So, it is nothing but t t h only one head and then t h t also t h t also and then h t t also h t t. So, t h t h t t and any other uh, point you can see that number of head will be more than 1. So, that is why this is 4 because it is uh, 4 elements and because it is equally likely all our points are equally likely probability of b is nothing but this is nothing but probability of x less than 2 which is nothing but because uh, total possible way it can appear and the possible way that the event b that means x less than 2 can happen. So, that is nothing but total 4 by classical approach uh, 4 by 8 this is nothing but the probability is 1 by 2. So, here also it is represented b subset of s 1 uh, the event defined by x less than 2 then b is nothing but x less than 2. So, uh, this is nothing but these values. So, we have already discussed this and then probability that x less than 2 the probability of b 4 by 8 which is nothing but 1 by 2. So, uh, this is one example we discussed how random variable uh, it is a measurable function and how this uh, major random variable can be uh, used for defining the events and then we can found by the random variable using the random variable we can find the uh, probability what is the probability we can find it. So, uh, now uh, next uh, we will discuss the distribution function. Now, we will learn what is distribution function associated with a random variable. So, we recall that if we consider a random experiment. So, let us repeat this same example to understand it clearly. Suppose you are doing this random experiment tossing a coin. So, then what is the sample space? Sample space is head and tail. Now, uh, if you consider the sigma field as the power set of S, we already discussed what is power set. It contains all the subset of S. So, suppose C is the power set. So, it is H 
t and also s and phi in containing all the subset of s. So, now we define a random variable. So, random variable x is nothing but s to r it is a measurable function. So, we can define any random variable, but let us consider this standard random variable x of head equal to 1 and x of tail is equal to 0. So, we are relating this abstract space to a real number set of real number by this notation and we can also go back to this space by this random variable. So, if you consider this set x less than equal to x, what is this? So, x is any real number, x is any real number. If you consider this set x is less than equal to x, this is nothing but all s belongs to the sample space s satisfying x of s less than equal to x and obviously, because the left hand side we do not write, then we understand that it is greater than minus infinity, because x is mapping from h to r. Now, if you x is any real number, now for uh, different values of x, let us see what are this set. So, this set, this is will be a subset of s and it is a measurable function, so it belongs to c. Now, if you consider x is suppose some negative number minus 1.5 something, some number, then x less than equal to minus 1.5, what is this set? So, this set is equal to s such that minus immunity to less than x of s less than equal to x is minus 1.5. So, this is minus 1.5. So, now x of s satisfying the resolution, what are the s? It is satisfying because x of head is 1, x of tail is 0, none of this value satisfying this relationship. So, this is nothing but the null set. So, basically it is a subset of s. Now, if you consider x is some other value, suppose x is 0 suppose, then you can easily show that x less than equal to 0. I hope you have understood now very clearly, just you have to find this value x of s less than equal to 0. So, what are those s satisfying this relationship x s is less than equal to 0. So, this is nothing but uh, because x of tail is only 0, so this is nothing but t. t. Now, if you consider x is equal to 1, so then x less than equal to 1, all s satisfying this s belongs to s such that minus to x s less than equal to 1. So, then this is nothing but uh, this is nothing but all the s satisfying this because x of head is equal to 1 and x of tail is equal to 0. So, that is why these all satisfying this. So, this is nothing but tail and head this is nothing but s. So, all are subset of s and also belongs to c, c is power set. So, in this way by taking complement of that, so or any union uh, operation, complement operation all these things, you can show that all by this by this set you can have all the, if you consider for all x belongs to real number, you know this set, then you know all the subset of s. So, so uh, if you can find the probability of these things, so then you can, because these are all events. So, it is a subset of s means these are all events. So, if you know, if you know the probability of this kind of set that means events, then you know, if we know, then we know probability
of any event associated associated to the random phenomena. So, so that is why if you know this value, you know any probability associated with the random phenomena. So, that is why knowing this, if you know these things, uh, it is very important. So, if you know this, we know uh, probability of any events associated with the random phenomena. So, we want to define as a function because it is nothing but it is a kind of a function of because any x you give, you give it in some value, we define a function here. So, this function is denoted by for x is a random variable, let x be a random variable. So, usually we do not say always the x is a function from h to r, we just for a uh, simplicity we just say x be a random variable that means, that means it is a function from h to r not only that it is a measurable function and it is the sample space associated with the random phenomena. So, x be a random variable a distribution function f. So, we denoted by f of x. So, it is distribution function, this distribution function is nothing but or this will be for any real number it is taking and it is actually inside 0 to 1 actually. A distribution function is defined by f of x of any real number x nothing but probability that x less than equal to x. So, sometimes this is also known as cumulative. So, we say it is cumulative distribution function, cumulative distribution function. So, this is nothing but CDF. We sometimes say CDF cumulative why because we are considering the probability that all random variable taking the values less than equal to x. So, that means for any real number x here you want to know the probability that x is belongs to this interval minus minus to x. So, that is why cumulative it is not a particular point just it is minus minus to x up to x it is just it is you are taking the probability that x is less than. So, this is the for all any x for all x belongs to real number. So, if you know this function is CDF then you know this probability and then you know the probability of any event associated with this random experiment or random phenomena. So, this is the distribution function. So, now let us uh, discuss one example. So, this is distribution function or cumulative distribution function. It is SBA sample space of a random experiment E and x h 2 r be a random variable. The distribution function is a uh, function or cumulative distribution function is a function f r to 0 1 defined by f of x is equal to nothing but probability that x is less than equal to x for any real number x. So, let us denote one uh, let us uh, discuss one example. So, then we will uh, discuss some properties. So, okay, where is this example? Uh, okay. I think somewhere ok. So, let us consider this example tossing a coin three times. So, then we will find the cumulative distribution function. So, let us consider the uh, random experiment tossing a coin. So, so whenever we do not mention uh, coin is uh, biased or uh, what is the probability of hit, then we uh, assume that uh, this is a unbiased coin or it is a uh, fair coin. So, whenever you are tossing a coin three times, we just discussed that uh, the sample space S1 contains 
uh, 8 elements. So, this is nothing but head, 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 tail, uh, sorry, oh, oh. head and head, 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 tail, then head, tail, head, head, tail, tail, sorry, then uh, tail, head, head, tail, head, tail, 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 head, tail, tail, tail. So, this is the 8 uh, elements it contains and we define the random variable x is that x is defined by number of heads obtained. So, basically we found already x of head 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 is nothing but 3, x of head head tail is nothing but 2 like this, x of uh, suppose tail tail head is nothing but 1, x of tail 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 is nothing but 0. So, range of x is nothing but range of x that means range of this function x is nothing but 0, 1, 2 and 3. These are the 4 values it is taking. Now, we want to define, uh, we want to find the CDF cumulative distribution function associated with this random variable x. So, what is the definition of cumulative distribution function? This is nothing but f of x, x, this is nothing but defined by probability that x is less than equal to x for any real number, for all real number x belongs to r. So, now uh, basically this function you have to uh, give uh, for any real number. So, note that uh, we have to find for any x belongs to real number, we have to find the probability of these things. Let us find out this value of this function for some of the particular values of uh, this real number x. Suppose x is some value, suppose let us take because, okay, let us take some negative number 2.5. So, then uh, what will be the fx of 2.5 minus 2.5? This is nothing but probability that x less than equal to minus 2.5. Now, whenever you want to find this value x is less than equal to minus 2.5, first you have to find what is this? This is a event, it is a corresponds to this uh, random variable, we have to find the event. So, what is this event? x less than equal to minus 2.5. So, this is nothing but defined by all s belongs to the set s1 such that x of s less than equal to minus 2.5. So, then see that x take the value 0, 1, 2 only positive value it is taking. So, less than equal to minus 2.5 it is not any value in s equal to s1 can be satisfied. So, it is nothing but the null set. So, that is why probability of x less than equal to minus 2.5 is nothing but probability of phi this is equal to 0. So, for any uh, real number x which is negative, you can see that this will be null set because any real number if you negative number you take, then this set will be because x is always taking the positive numbers. So, uh, for uh, any small x is less than, so if x is less than 0, then x less than equal to x, this will be nothing but the null set, x is less than 0. So, whenever x is less than 0, any number like minus 2.5, any number, then if you can find this set, so any number, so it will be uh, less than uh, this negative number, so that is null set, so probability will be 0. So, that is why, what we found that for this distribution function for this example, f of x of x that is nothing but probability of x less than equal to x, this is nothing but 0 if x is less than 0, greater than minus infinity. Note that this we are not finding the probability of this interval, this we are taking one value from here and we are putting this value here and then we are finding probability of this interval and we saw that if this number is any value in this interval, then this probability of these things will be equal to 0. Now, let us consider because it is negative number, let us consider small x is exactly equal to 0. So, it is a real number, small x is exactly equal to 0. So, then what will be this set because we want to find 
probability of x less than equal to 0. So, then x less than equal to 0, what is this set? This set is nothing but s belongs to s 1 such that x of s is less than equal to 0. And sometimes we do not write it because for simplicity we understand that left hand side nothing we are writing means this is minus greater than minus infinity. Now, note that this uh, here uh, this is taking 0, 1, 2, 3 and for this t, t, t only this is equal to 0 otherwise it is greater than 0. So, it is less than equal to 0. So, equal to 0 only it is satisfying by this t, 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 t. So, hence uh, pro by uh, classical approach because uh, it is a fair coin. So, uh, were equally like so x less than equal to 0 this is nothing but uh, probability of x less than equal to 0 nothing but probability that this event this event contain only one point. So, and out of possible 8 point only one possible way that it can come that is why it is 1 by 8. Now, if you take any value so suppose x is greater than 0, but less than 1 suppose x is any value suppose suppose x is equal to uh, 0 0.8 suppose. So, then what will be the uh, this set because you want to find the probability of these things. So, first you have to find x is less than equal to 0 0.8 this probability you want to find probability of this event. So, this is nothing but s belongs to s 1 such that minus magnitude to greater than x s less than equal to 0 0.8. Here also you can see that because we are not finding the probability of uh, we want to find the probability that uh, x s is. So, here small x is 0 0.8. So, any value we are considering here belongs to greater than equal to 0 less than 1. So, for example, x is equal to 0 we consider x is equal to 0 0.8. So, here uh, we are not finding probability that x equal to 0 0.8 we are finding capital X less than equal to 0 0.8. So, that we have to be careful. So, then this set what is this set see that this random variable x can take this value only 0 1 2 3 and uh, because only uh, for s it is less than equal to 0 0.8 is nothing but only t t t again only because it is 0 otherwise uh, for other value it is 1. So, that is why again probability that x less than equal to 0 0.8 is nothing but again 1.8. So, for any small x between 0 greater than equal to 0 for, for any small x greater than equal to 0 and less than uh, 1 in that case probability that x less than equal to x. So, this is the distribution function probability that uh, f of x x this is probability that x is uh, less than uh, equal to small x greater than minus infinity we sometimes write minus. So, this is so this is the f x x definition whenever x is between this then probability is becoming 1 by 8. So, note that here uh, question is that sometimes it is confusing we are finding x greater than equal to less 0 less than 1 it is not true it is not correct. So, basically we are taking the small x actually the small x is between 0 to 1 and this small x we are putting here x is less than equal to small x that is why x is less than equal to small x. So, x is any value you consider here between 0 to 1 then this probability f of x this function we are finding this function is nothing but 1 by 8. 